Well, hello, tubers. Today I'm coming to you from sunny, beautiful British Columbia where I'm running my air conditioner during the day because it's that warm. So today is a positive video about the positive nomadic life that I'm living, you're living, many people are living. I know everybody's getting a lot of bad news right now, but I've got good news for you. And today's gonna be one of those, the glass is half full videos. And I'm not being sarcastic at least not completely. We're under quarantine or self-quarantine or they're asking people to stay home, stay away from work. I get it. That's a good, good thing because we're gonna have a baby boom. <laughs> yes, we are. 9, 10, 11, 12 months from now, it's gonna be a lot of babies born during this crisis. That is great for the economy. Hey, look at what happened after World War II. Everybody came home, they had babies. It was good for the economy. Everybody bought more cars, more houses. It was excellent. So I suggest you do your part. Get yourself a bucket of chicken and get busy. <laughs> Before they closed the KFC restaurant, of course. And the next great news is Carolyn's RV Life today did a video and she's offering to help people with food and supplies. So anybody in need, I know I've made fun of her only giving away socks. Today she's opening up the big wallet she's accumulated of cash. And I salute you, Carolyn. I love you for doing it. You go over to her channel and you put in an application of what you need and she's gonna help you out because she said so. So I want you to go do that. That is complete sunshiny day. Great, fantastic nomad news. On the third set of great nomad news, if you're in Canada or near the Canadian border, the Lotto Max jackpot is now $55 million. That's tax-free lump sum. So even if I don't win, I've made a contribution to the Canadian healthcare program. So I think that's good because we're gonna need contributions to the healthcare program. And you know, I probably won't slash my wrists even if I won $1 million. I probably could get through it. Might ruin my life a bit, but I'm sure I could survive. So, like I said, if you're in or near Canada, zip over, get your Lotto Max ticket. And before the liquor stores close, I wanted to patronize my local distillers. I know I did a video the other day where I, I bought a bottle of uh, rum from Cuba. Well, today, no, we're going domestic. And I suggest, wherever you are, buy local. This is Alberta vodka. Small bottle, probably gonna be the last bottle I buy for weeks because the stores are gonna close and really not good for the immune system to do much drinking over this crisis. So head on over, get yourself a local bottle, support your local distillery wherever you happen to be and uh, show them that you care. Get yourself a bottle and celebrate out in the sun like I'm doing now. Just cracked her open, cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can taste the cow pastures of Calgary in the bottle. Yes, I can. If you've been to Calgary and the Calgary Stampede, you know what I'm talking about. So it's such a wonderful day of positive news. And let's face it, I think a little time alone is good for all of us. We can do some reflecting. We can pick up the phone and, and call the people we care about, tell them that we're thinking about them. And um, yeah, long distance rates have never been cheaper. Most of us have these unlimited plans. It's nice to, to hear from people far and wide during this crisis and uh, I really sincerely hope everybody is doing well. And we're gonna get through this and in the end, we could be much stronger. But always gotta have a little bit of pain and a little bit of rain before things get better and uh, I'm confident about that. And on another RV YouTube Nomad note, I would like to point out that um, the e-begging from many of the nomads that like to do that will start to decline, which I think is a positive thing. After all, we should look after ourselves first and give money to those we love before we give money to strangers. And I'm always one of the first to tell people, don't give money to strangers you see online. Please don't. I don't care if they do it in the name of religion or they do it in the name of they don't wanna work. Please don't do that. Look after yourself, folks, because I care about your wallet and I want you to keep your money that you've earned yourself. And on that note, I'd also like to thank everybody for supporting this channel because I do not sell merch. I do not do Patreon. I do not do a lot of things. It's a tiny bit of ad revenue that I get off this, but I pay a lot for my data to actually produce the videos. 
not complaining, just saying what it is. And uh, I don't ask for your financial support directly ever. And I appreciate your support in always reminding me and thanking me for not selling out to merchandising and capitalism for the sake of capitalism for my own wallet. Because after all, if I need more money, <laughs> we live in a great country. There's so many opportunities to make money. And I know that, and you know that. So, just wanted to say thank you for your support. Every day that I'm watching the news, the accelerated level of decay and collapse is getting faster by the hour, by the day. And already, I know people that have um, been laid off from their six-figure jobs. And I know lots of people in restaurants that are losing their jobs, at least temporarily. Rock concerts are closing. The casinos around here are closing. And, and of course in Las Vegas, uh, MGM properties have closed all their casinos temporarily. So it's getting ugly, folks. It's touching almost every area of society and it's happening quick. And the stock market today, holy crap, I purposely watched the opening bell and within seconds it was down a couple thousand points and seconds later they halted trading. <laughs> was that the third halt of trading in the last uh, 10 days or a week? I don't know. Who's keeping score? It's crazy how this is happening. And as for more good news, our Prime Minister has now shut down the border. Yeah. <laughs> Except you can't shut it down to Canadians. It's uh, against our Constitution. We have a constitutional right to remain in, leave, or enter. So the border cannot be closed to Canadian citizens. But they're closing it to non-citizens and people who have no legal status here. So uh, I think for the time being, Americans are still allowed in for now. But if you are a national of another country, Please don't come because they're going to put you on a flight back or they won't even let you board from wherever you're coming from because the airlines don't want to pay to fly you back for free. So you're probably going to be stopped in your tracks. I did see some people that arrived at uh, Whistler the other day and they flew all the way from Germany to ski and the ski hill is closed. But the weather was fantastic and some of them were troopers. They climbed up the ski hill. <laughs> on their feet because the lifts are closed with their skis and they at least skied part of the hill just cause you know you gotta make do when things are tough you look at the bright side and you say hey I'm here I might as well make the best of it just like I'm out here with the t-shirt I'm making the best of today enjoying my local distillery uh, products and buying my lottery tickets <laughs> but seriously folks we're gonna have a baby boom and uh, sex is free. <laughs> if you're one of those people that have to pay for it, oh boy, I don't even want to talk to you. Oh, that's, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, are you getting busy? <laughs> and as a token of uh, how wonderful that baby boom is gonna be, I'm throwing the offer right now for, I want first rights to name your baby. I will pay for that. Yeah, I think I should have first naming rights for your baby when it's born. I'm not going to send you money now, but once you're pregnant and you've had the baby, before you name it, you need to contact me. Let me make you an offer. You don't have to keep the name I'm going to give it, but after five years you can change it. But I want naming rights. Like If you can name stadiums, I should be able to name your baby if I pay you with a contract. I think it's only fair. I'm helping you. The, the baby gets a name. You don't have to tax your noggin just to figure out what you're going to call it. And of course the name will be first name line, second name screw, and of course the last name will be whatever name you happen to have. But I think it would only be fair if I gave you some money, I could name your baby. I think that's a positive news for today because we will have a baby boom. And I want to be on the forefront of the naming rights of naming several babies on there because I want to be proud that I've got some line screws running around in diapers with my name. I think it would be fantastic and of course it would be a tax write-off for me. Hey, it's, I don't make up these tax laws. Hey, I, I just play by them. So I want to know what the heck you guys are doing to live on the bright side of life during this crisis. I'm curious because um, some of you are probably doing something really wonderful and refreshing to keep your mind off things and um, you know get through it. I've uh, considered buying some um, 
plants to grow food. Why not? I'm going to go check out the nurseries in the next few days to see when some of the tomato plants will be ready and if I can put them into nice little big boxes and grow them I think that would be a fun hobby that would also grow me some fresh food. Considering that it looks like we're going to have a wonderful spring here. Why not? Spring is the time to plant and to grow food. So keep that in mind. So in the meantime folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground, and I'm going to talk to you soon. Over and out.